Welcome back to Juiciest Crypto News Ever, friends. You are a baby doll, baby cake, and a butterscotch biscuit. Don't forget that we have recent news. Firstly, we're going to begin with Elon Musk telling everyone to go F themselves. You don't want them to advertise? No. What do you mean? If somebody's going to try to blackmail me with advertising, blackmail me with money, go fuck yourself. But go fuck yourself. Is that clear? I hope it is. So Elon Musk saying he's not going to be blackmailed by the scum on Twitter Roonies who are pretending like they give a damn about anything. They don't care, friends. They're all under control from the bug eaters. Yes, that's right. They're all working in cahoots. Of course, they're all having political agendas and they use these advertising money as levers so they can pull and sway public opinion. You gotta be careful, friends, because all this information coming out there, it's gonna infect your friends and your family. But you know what you do? You send your friends and family to my channel and I will crank some music for them. This is the old beat, friends. It goes freaking hard. Isn't that amazing? It's amazing. So look, Binance also delisting the Binance USD. Now, if you didn't believe me before, now you're going to believe me because BUSD was and is 100% backed one of the safest things in crypto, and you can't call anything safe. BUSD was the safest thing. The corrupt SEC and Gary Gensler, that semen demon, was chugging so much semen for JP Mosquito and the other bug eater banks. And he has illegally come after Binance, trying to take them down. So this is more evidence that what everything that I'm saying is true. The fact that they went after BUSD, it tells you they are in 100% collusion. It is not a conspiracy at all. They are, one, they are all out to choke the crypto industry. Make sure you got your fluffy slippers on because what I'm about to tell you as well is 100% the truth, friends. JP Mosquito is a private owner of the US Fed. No one knows who owns the US Fed. You know that, right? It's, not, it's, a, it's a shadow wing of US economy, okay? Now, they're going to bring in the CBDCs. And to bring in the CBDCs, they noticed in 2021 that people were using stable coins that they don't control. And Binance did it the correct way. And guess what? They got slaughtered for it. So now you know, we can't do this Tether and USDC stuff. We literally, we have to use the DAI method, DAI. And someone's going to have to do better systems. So there is going to be probably more stable coins coming out, which is crazy. You're like, more stable coins. Yes. It's just going to be very interesting how far they can go before the corrupt SEC tries to target them and the founders as well. We also had this mystery wallet appeared, right? It bought $424 million of Bitcoin, become the seventh biggest owner. You know, this is the chart pattern of Bitcoin right now that we're looking at. It's around $37,000, $38,000. But I want to pay attention to this chart pattern. You see the pump and the dump, the pump and the dump, the pump and the pump, 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 pump. You see this pattern, friends? Do you see how there is no type of euphoric blow off. You see how it just keeps going like this? Well, this is like a staircase upwards, all right? Now, I've made videos, I've got some videos coming out for you to share with you that, you see, you see, see that staircase you just witnessed? That might be a similar feeling as to what's coming for our future. And I know like coming, it's a family friendly show. Make sure you like, subscribe, belly button, I appreciate every single one of you friends. Don't forget, when it comes to the future, we might see someone like that. Why? That's Max Payne. That's actually Max Payne. Why is it Max Payne? It's Max Payne for the bears. Why? The bears like Crapo, Crypto Crapo, and he's called Crypto Crapo. Why? Because he blocked me. Okay. Because <laughs> so Crypto Crapo is sending his 75,000 pleb loser followers to Doomtown because they're waiting for this because they think a zombie virus capitulation is coming. But if you follow your friend Sami here, I'm telling you that these type of shocking black swan type of events, they don't come every two, three, four, five years. They don't. They come every 15 to 20 years. Okay, the last time we had such a big shocking event was in 1987. 
the stock market crash, right? And then we had something else later on. But you get, you get to see the point. We had a flash crash as well coming like 15, 20 years later. So they're very, very spaced out because people remember, all right? Now, the bears would get crushed if we staircase up because they have no way to get in. Their dream price entry never gets in. Why do bulls get crushed? Why do we get crushed? It's because if we staircase to the end here, there is no reason to exit because there's no blow off. And that's why I want to show you this pattern. It's like, well, you're like, where are you going? Imagine it just goes up here and that's it. It's down. Pfft. You see, it's all over. You see how difficult that is? So I'm hoping, and that's what we're doing here, friends. We're just hoping that by the end of Bitcoin's run, even though the candle might not be a euphoric blow off, because that's what everybody's waiting for, right? Everyone wants to say, oh, I want to see Bitcoin go up 2x in one month for me to exit. Just to let you know, that's actual formula everyone's looking for, right? They're looking for that final 2x. You see, so, that, so that's what everybody wanted. Everybody wanted November 2021 to just be a plus 100% candle up to 120K for them to exit. They didn't get it at all. It stops and it comes down. We all got scammed. So this is something you got to keep your eyes peeled for because this is how we're actually going to kill it. How we're going to milk it. It's because everybody's going to be looking for that final blow off Bitcoin candle. And we're going to be saying, no, we're not going to have a Bitcoin candle blow off. Why? Because we already did it in 2021. The scenario where we had infinite QE, 0% rates, $16 trillion negative yielding bonds. Elon Musk bought a billion dollars of it. And guess what? We still didn't get the 2X candle on a monthly candle back then. Okay. It should have happened in 2021. It didn't. And it's diminishing over time. And Bitcoin's 15-year-old technology and it's slowing down. Okay, so we're aware of, of all these things. Even though you're talking literally to a dude with a buy Bitcoin sign in his Twitter Rooney username. Okay, so I'm completely aware of this. Just make sure you are too. And I want you to, want you to know that crypto also still has a lot of bright future potential coming. Why? Well, you're seeing subhuman filth trash sue people like Cristiano Ronaldo. So CR, he is being sued for promoting Binance, okay? Now, these subhuman filth, I'm not gonna read their names out, but they're probably like just some legal dudes, they're probably clean shaven, etc. These type of snakes come out. But this is actually bullish sign because these people, okay, these people don't know how to make money at all. They have no business mind, no entrepreneur mind, they don't know anything about product market fit, they don't know anything about demand and satisfying consumers. These people are just trash snakes who unfortunately will always exist in society and they just go and they target people. They're basically called ambulance chasers, all right? Now, these types of people as well, the fact that they are still in crypto means that even for these scum, there's opportunity here. And that means crypto's growth is so big, even for these super conservative scum, because these people are on the other end, friends. These people like politicians where they don't add any value. All they do is suck value. They're vultures from society. So these people that sit around there, the fact that they can actually see that there's money there for them, it means the future is really bright. You can also draw some precedence to the corrupt SEC and the people filing against Richard Hart and Hex, for example, because all they're doing is they're trying to get the payment from the SEC. Just to remind you that the SEC will give a 10 to 30% payment of whatever money they find and sue when they go after someone. So that's why someone is trying to go after Richard Hart for $10 million. They know that there's a payout for them of one to three million. So all they do is they file against all these crypto people to try get them to just buckle up and just pay money to get rid of the SEC. It's unfortunately a very corrupt system. There's nothing we can do about it. We just have to live with it. But just don't forget friends, everything I tell you is true. These people, they truly are bug eaters. Don't forget that. And this is the weekly chart for Bitcoin. You can see we've had too many green candles, friends. You just can't trust any of these. But look, we drew this box a long time ago, the golden box of friendship. All right, we're actually in it now. So technically, it can be all be over from here. I know, technically it can. If you've been watching my channel, which I know you have, I've been saying for a very long time, the highest volume node, by the way, I was saying it down here, friends. Literally, I was saying it down here. A year ago, I was saying the price to watch out for for Bitcoin is $37,000. We are literally exactly there now. You actually, you know what's funny? This is, this is, you can't make this up, friends. As we hit $37,000, look what everybody starts doing. Look at how the candles start getting smaller. That's not a coincidence. Why? Why are we grinding around $37,000? It's because, and I made videos about it, the break even soy boys are now looking at their portfolios. Obviously, they've started with Bitcoin because that's recovered the most. The break-even soy boys, 
See, they watched the paper hand soy boys sell the bottom here. And the break-even soy boys, you probably know some of them. You've got your friends and family. They're like, oh, crypto sucks, man. Go, yeah, just wait a few years. They're like, okay, I just want to check my phone. They don't go check their phone. But now it's been that an amount of time. And now they have checked their phone. They're like, hmm, I put in 30 grand into this. It's back to around 30. I can like get out now. Now, some of them are just getting out. Some of them left their limit orders and they're just getting out. And we're probably going to see them get tested a bit. And that's what I'm waiting for, waiting for them to be like, oh, you're going to make money from now on. No, you're not. All right, that test somewhere is going to come. Now, I don't know exactly the chart pattern, but it's just going to be, it's going to make them remember why they didn't check their crypto portfolio for two years. It's going to remind them. It's like, oh, that's right. This whole freaking thing's a scam. You told me Bitcoin was innovative and going to moon, but instead it's gone freaking nowhere. And we're waiting for all these other countries to adopt and all this other information. So the weekly super trend though has still been keeping us bullish, but like technically we are in this golden box of friendship. You know what's interesting? We can go look at the Mount Gox, Fon Mount Gox Fractal Ponzi and it kind of says we're due eventually to go sideways and boop. So this is the retest, friends. We don't know what this is going to be. It'd be, be, kind of, be freaking scary if it just does boop, and then it continues up. So we've got everybody's waiting for, man. And look, I just want to remind you as well. If Bitcoin goes to the zone where micro strategy has got to start selling. And I know, oh, micro strategy, they said they'll never sell. I don't believe them. I don't believe them for one second. They have debt in 2025. They're going to sell. All right. Now, look how high Bitcoin goes before they're in the danger zone. 50%, man. 50% in literally the most riskiest Ponzi technology of all time. You're risking 100% of the bullet. There was no guarantee that Bitcoin was going to bounce. It could have gone to zero. All that crypto can go to zero. You need to reward me with higher than 50% if you want me to take the risk in any of that. But of course, I'm speaking to you now because I'm a speculator. I've done this for a long time. I know what I'm doing. Everybody else, what are they saying? They go, golly G, 90% of your portfolio has got to be in Bitcoin and you've got to have Ethereum. 99% even, don't even touch anything else. You've got to have stable coins and the rest. But good, I want them to say that because I know they're losers. I know the people saying that rely on Bybit and all the other leverage exchanges for income. I know they rely on ICO pump and dumps. I know these people have also made videos, and if you listen to them carefully, they made all their money in 2021 by ICO entries. They didn't make their money by buy and holding off public markets like I did. None of them did. They're trash, and I know what these people are doing, and they're stacked in the wrong coins. So congratulations to us. So what else is there, friends? You know, altcoins are moving around. I'm still waiting for 2024. I've been saying it for a long time. A lot of people are telling me, where are the new coins? Got to find the new coins. Let me tell you, Habib. Sit down. In 2024, all the scammers come. All the scam, trash, piece of poop coins that come out because it's Bitcoin halvening year. So until then, we're riding the core coins. That's what we're waiting, okay? For example, Chainlink is Bug Eater DeFi, also known as Big Mac DeFi. Chainlink is hovering around this zone, $14.50. Just to remind you, this isn't a guarantee, but if you're on the sidelines, okay, you can go to the daily chart and go, oh, you've tapped the 21 EMA, which is the dollar line, so I can get in. Look, you can do that. I've just It gets harder, friends. If you want to play these trash games, you're going to have to trade it. It goes up, then it might come down, then it screw you around again, and then it continues. Like You just you just don't know with these. That's why these daily candles, it's for trading, man. It's not for investing. It's not where you, like, I mean, this weekly candle, that's all I'm looking at. You might say, okay, eventually if it just touches the weekly 21 EMA, you might get in, but... We don't know what's going to happen because, look, I can tell you to hug this line and the next move for Link is it goes up to 25 bucks. What are you going to do then? Then you're really going to be furious and then you're going to have to wait and wait. So it is what it is, man. That's why I've been telling everybody for two years, just buy Chainlink under 10 bucks. Just get any Link you can under $10. And now that we're up here, you're going to have to play for the higher price targets. Also, Pulse Chain, Pulse X and Hex have been having a very tough time struggling as a reflection of what the market perceives in the Richard Hart court case, for example, the ranking is dropping really low for Pulse Chain as well. The volume is really low. You can see it. It was doing 20 million now, started doing 6 to 10 million. Um, <laughs> there's a new meme coin here, Bitcoin, the greatest funsy. I like that. I wonder if they've been watching my videos. That's actually funny. Um, this is Pulse Chain chart, PLS. 
it's been making higher lows. I think Hex, for example, has been struggling. This is P-Hex as well. You can see it's kind of broken that low. But these little structures, you don't need to be looking at these structures, friends. You can just look at the ratios. That's all you want to look at. Ratios to everything. This is E-Hex, P-Hex. It's in the middle of the diddle zone. That's it. And if you really want to see what's going on, look at the Hex PLS chart. Obviously, I invert it because I want to see what PLS Hex is doing. And as you can see around here, this is what it's been doing. It's still grinding along its own. I've got the dove here because I'm hoping throughout 2024 that ETH BTC goes up and Ethereum hopefully correlates to Pulse Chain. So hopefully that drags itself up against the store of value. And that is another way to make yield technically. When it comes to PulseX, PulseX is still hovering around the zone. It's still, this is like really, really bad. Like it's going to hit the two year mark. Okay. It's going to be, it's December. It's like we're right around the corner from December and everyone's going to be like, how that thing and go from two years, like 84% down. Hey, I, did, I invested it with you, Vent. I went hard in it with you as well. Man, it sucks after two years because the thing is, what we, what do people try to do? They'll try to, look, I know everyone's trying to help, but you know, it doesn't help by gaslighting everyone, by telling everyone, well, we told you to delay gratification. Like, because what do everyone do, Vent? In, in this top right up here, it says day 201. So Pulse Chain is now 201 days old, but... Look, you can't tell people, oh, delay gratification. And they say, what do you mean, man? You got me to put money into this two years ago. What, two years? Delay gratification? Like, at least give me a break even. Not 84% down where I put 10 grand, now I have 1,400. I literally got up on money and anything else and done better. That's the feeling that they're all going through. But you have to look at the fundamentals. Can you add position friends? I know this this is sucks, but I'm just telling you, this is this is what you gotta do, man. Look, you know, I remember being asked two years ago, someone said to me, Hey, if this thing drops minus 90%, which it should, and that's what they were saying to me, if it drops minus 90%, what do we do? And I'll just tell you the same answer I told my friends and family back then. I said, Look, it sucks, but you're gonna have to buy more. You're gonna have to be prepared to buy more because if the prices are down that low, everyone who's trapped with you is going to be saying, don't worry, just hold it back for a thousand X. Not going to happen. Okay. There's a new fair value zone. Let me put on a regular chart, take it off the linear so you can see. Oh, that is freaking painful, man. <laughs> I'm just telling you, friends, welcome to markets. Welcome to markets. Get kicked in the nuts. You get kicked in the nuts. Okay. So everyone's hoping for giant targets. You, you're going to have to find a way to average. It's it. Get a second job. Sell other things. Do what you can. It's cheap. We're like I, we, I can't force this thing to go up. All I can just tell you is, if you still believe, you have to add. Now, I understand a lot of people will say, I don't want to add to a losing position. And that's completely fine, of course. You can just say, I've allocated enough and I can move on. But I'm just telling you what I did. Okay, I increased my bag size. That's it. If there's one thing you can look at, you can go to gopulse.com. Okay, you can check out. Check out. The buy and burn, it's 2.79% now. This thing ticks up every day. This is what I like seeing. It ticks up every day. Every time there's volume, it just it's scalping a bit of the pulse X off the supermarket shelf. Okay, so we still need some time. The court case for Richard Hart has moved around, they say like January 30th, whatever it is. I mean, don't even worry about following it, friends. At the end of the day, we know what we're waiting for. Really what we're waiting for. We're waiting for Bitcoin to start going up and for people to get excited about smart contract platforms again. That's what we're waiting for. Make sure you like, subscribe, belly button, or you are the juiciest friend. Catch you very soon.